Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in again, hope you're all doing good. It's an exciting day today, it's new bike day! So I've got myself a new Marin Headlands 2, it's a different colourway to my old one, and I've got some really exciting plans for this build. It might seem insane having two versions of the same bikes, albeit in different colours, so I have some exciting plans and a few changes I want to make to this bike over the next few weeks. But in today's vlog we're going to open this box and I'm going to give you guys a look at my very fancy, awesome new bike. Look at this, look at this awesomeness. So I've quickly built it. As you can see, my bars are pointing straight up in the air. It looks kind of orange in this light, but it's not. It's kind of like, it's like a fluoro ready on. I suppose it is got an orange tint to it, but not orange like my other one. Give me a second. I'm gonna clear some space and I'm gonna have a little chat to you about what's on this bike, how much it costs, all that sort of stuff, and what my future plans are for this bike. I'm gonna turn this into the most amazingly, ultimately fun blooming gravel bike, honestly. Oh my God, it looks so sick. Right, give me one second. Surprisingly, that was a very hassle-free, straightforward bike build. Um, actually, I need to check this. So the dropper post for this is actually wired up to one of the shifters. Let's check it out. So dropper post can be a little bit tricky to set up. Check it out. Oh. And I will be keeping the dropper post. But right, before I tell you, about the plans I have for this bike. Let me just run through the build really quickly. So this is the Marin Headlands 2. It is Marin's like premium level gravel bike. I recently did a review of the frame and fork that I've been using for absolutely ages. Amazing frame, not gonna bang on about it in this video. Carbon frame, full carbon fork. It comes with a Shimano GRX group set. It doesn't come with like the posh GRX discs. It comes with these discs instead. Can you see this? It has an FSA Gossamer, Goss, I don't know how you say it, but an FSA crank set with a 42 tooth chain ring. And on the rear, I believe it does have like an 11 to a 42 wide range cassette. And that is on these Marin own brand wheels that come with like an aluminium rim, tubeless ready, I believe. And then they're paired with these WTB Byway 44 mil tires. Let's weigh it really quickly, one second. Ugh. So as you can see, the stock weight is 9.855. This is a size 56, so it's under 10 kilos. I say for a gravel bike, at this price point, with this size tires on, and a dropper post, can't really go wrong, can you? So what are my plans for this bike? As you guys know, I already have a lovely Marin. Let me show you. We have this lovely beast here. The thing is, I run 650Bs, and what I really, really want, and what I've always wanted for ages, is, I want one set up with 650s and a dropper post, and I want one set up more for racing with like a power meter, 700c wheels, 
maybe like a slightly longer reach. So then if I want to go out and do a bit of like technical gravel for races like Grand Giro, I can run the bike with a dropper post. And if I'm doing more long distance gravel rides, I can run my other headlands that will have 700 C wheels on, it won't have a dropper post, it'll have slightly lighter components on, it'll have a power meter. So I'll be able to gauge my efforts a lot better. And so I'd have one for fun, and one for like serious speed. And this might seem slightly over the top, but yes, I could just get one set of wheels and I could switch that wheels, but then I don't want to run a dropper post the whole time. There is a weight penalty to having one, and personally, I'd only use it occasionally. So when I'm running my 650s, I want to run a dropper post. Does that make sense? At the end of the day, I'm lucky enough to be sponsored by Marin, and if I can build up a specific bike for a specific purpose, why not? So the things that are going to get changed on this bike are, I'm going to take these 700s off and put my 650s on. I was thinking about putting a wider bar on, but these stock bars, they've got a nice flare to them and they're quite wide already. I think they're like a 44 with a flare. So the bars look like they're here to stay. I do need a slightly longer stem. So we have a 70 mil stem on this at the moment. I'll switch that up to a 100 mil stem for the 650 and then for the 700, I will run 110 mil. So I have a little bit more of an aero position on longer rides. Oh, and also when I change the wheel set, I will be using the E13 really wide range, like the nine to 46 tooth cassette on there. So that means when I'm running 650s, I can like tackle a lot steeper stuff. I can get down a lot steeper stuff because of the dropper post. And it means that it's turning my gravel bike slightly more into a mountain bike, but keeping it as a gravel bike. And some may say, why not just ride a mountain bike? Well, I, I like gravel and I like riding gravel. And if I'm in a position where I can have the perfect mountain stroke gravel bike, I'm gonna build it. So that is my plan for this bike. This is gonna become the ultimate 650B off-road gravel stroke cross country, cross, I can't even speak, gravel stroke cross country ripper. It's gonna be amazing and I'm really excited. But, important question, do you want me to do a bit of a like ride around and let you know how this bike is as a stock bike before I do any changes? Or do we just crack on, get the wheels set up and start shredding? Let me know down below in the comments. And massive thanks again to Marin for, well, for all the lovely bikes. Honestly, do check them out. If you haven't checked out Marin yet, amazing bikes, amazing company, love them. So yeah, massive thanks Marin. Oh, and another thing, it's not a black bike. It's very visible. All of my bikes are actually quite visible. So. That will please everybody. So I'm going to leave it there. I can't wait to get this built. It's going to be such an exciting build. Let me know your thoughts. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye. Do, 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 do. Bike to unpack today. Exciting bike. <laughs> so, so I have some exciting plans for this bike, but first, so I have some exciting plans of much, much less offensive. Um, this is the Marin Headlands 2. Um, <laughs> it, hell. it doesn't have a... a oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs>